Right. Well, we've got to, we did get to see the sun today, and look at the beautiful sunset we have going on right now. Yeah, this is the live picture from the airport. Actually, uh, it's nice to see the sun still up at 515 in the evening, John Malone. And it's pushing back, pushing back by a couple minutes every day. Soon we're going to have a lot of daylight, and uh, with that daylight, we get warmer temperatures. So you get a little sun uh, this time of the year. It helps warm things up. We had a beautiful day today with temperatures in the 40s, but guess what's moving in our direction? An Alberta Clipper. Now, this one's going to be a little further north. As you can see, the heaviest snow from this Alberta Clipper for tonight through Thursday and Thursday night will essentially be from about, oh, north central Wisconsin up through the UP. That's where the low essentially will be tracking over the next 24 to 36 hours. The bigger picture for us is the cold air it's going to drag down. On Thursday, the cold air sits right north of the Canadian border. As this storm passes through by Friday morning, it'll bring that cold air into our neck of the woods. Today's high with that sunshine, 41 degrees. The average should be around 32. It's the third 40 degree day so far this month. Our morning low at 21. You can see the high temperatures around the area, 43 in Chicago, 36 in La Crosse, 39, Twin Cities, 39, Sioux Falls. So as that front slowly moves through tomorrow, we're going to stay in the upper 30s once again. The cold air really doesn't get here until Friday. Right now we're a very warm 39 degrees in Milwaukee, 36, Waukesha, Whitewater, also West Bend in Port Washington and overnight tonight temperatures drop into the mid 20s. So as precipitation moves in our direction, it will be mostly snow or sleep, but everything very light overnight tonight. There's the clipper on our radar Viper showing a little bit of initial precipitation, and this is very, very light rain. It's actually hitting the ground in a couple of spots, but this is very light. Most of the precipitation will be in this area north of the Twin Cities continuing to trek to the east and our future forecast models again shows most of the heavier precipitation staying from about Lake Winnebago north and then we watch the arrival of this cold air coming in from the north and west 38 in Milwaukee tomorrow 37 in Mass and 40 in Chicago 34 degrees in Green Bay winds stay out of the west and again we'll have a wintry mix of a little snow and sleet in the morning and then rain in the afternoon. Overnight tonight, 26 degrees with increasing clouds. Again, that wintry mix comes in late. Might even have a half an inch on the ground in Milwaukee by morning. 38 tomorrow with cloudy skies. We start out with a little light snow turns to rain in the afternoon. West winds and again, another mild day. But tomorrow night we get a, again an opportunity for some very light snow. Less than an inch accumulation, 18 degrees. Strong northwest winds and they say strong into Friday with clouds and flurries and a high of only 23 degrees. Here's your Storm Team 4 seven day planner. Stays very chilly to start the weekend with 18 degrees and we're at 28 with sunshine on Sunday, but warming back up into the 30s on Monday. Hey, today I was at Dousman Elementary School talking to the second and third graders having a real good time and I actually taught them to drink water. What? Well, they had to start to make their bottle tornadoes. They had to drink some oh, water first. Okay. But, you know, someone yes. has to teach him to drink water. You're quite the intellectual. Wow. We're very <laughs> impressed. <laughs> Thank you, John.